Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is Zoho Creator. Uh, I'm in layout mode of the Zoho Creator, and I'm going to show, learn, show how some of this works. So I'm going to add a new tab. I'm going to call it Test. Click Add. And you can see that Home tab has all of these forms so down at the bottom forms you forms and views and other tabs so this is a form and this is a form let's see if that works you can only put it let's see yeah it only wants to go on top of each other and actually cancel can I rename this yes Okay, so I'm going to call this Forms, Update, <clears throat> and I'm at a new tab. I'm going to call this Views, add that tab, and that's interesting. See, it didn't take the change, the name change. Uh, so I'm going to drag this into here, just like that, and my home view is blank. You can see that the forms view still hasn't changed. Should be forms now. Views worked. Be nice if I could get some text here, or maybe I have to just create a new form to explain to my users what they're going to see or what they should do. <clears throat> so I've got two tabs. I'm going to access this application, and you can see forms and views. Now this is where I should have the instructions for my users in terms of the forms. Now I could forms, there's my forms and you can see how they stack on top of each other and then I got my views and again they're gonna stack just like this on top of each other. So the question I have is if I create multiple tabs, say I want, to, I want to minimize scrolling as much as possible. So I need to create my forms, multiple forms, keep them all in one tab or keep them all in one page, multiple tabs. Um, unfortunately, and I'll show you what this will do, let's go edit this application. If my form name is long, then it's going to make the tab, it's going to make the tab really long. So we'll go ahead and see, uh, forms and views. Okay, now it's correctly named. Uh, let's add a new tab just for giggles, and we'll name it something really long. Some name that is ridiculously re I R I think R I D U C U L O U S D long and complicated and useless but serves as an example. All right, there it is and I click add. See that? Now what happens when I load this access this application? No, look at that. Didn't stick because I didn't have a view on it. So let's go back to layout. Oh, still didn't stick. Okay, add new tab. Oh, really long name goes here to prove the point that the tabs don't wrap and that all UI space is consumed. Add right there. And let me just go ahead and click on it. It's actually not letting me click on it either. Um, but the point being is that if I have a click edit, no, it's not. Oh, look at that. 
edit tab name, tab name is views. It's not really long name goes here. Well, let's go, we'll go ahead and change that really long name goes here. And click update. Oh, that was interesting. So it's not even picking up my really long name. Uh, so I'm going to add a new tab and I'll call this lots of numbers and there it is and I click on it I still can't add stuff to it but you see what's happening already and look at this I can't even access that it's gonna it might even just disappear add yeah it's falling off the edge and I can't drag Oh, I just did actually. That's interesting. Not all my tabs are are loading. If I click on this one, all right. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> this is all right. So some of the tabs, but the really long one didn't work. And I've got some of my fields. Got some of my views. This one doesn't have anything. So let's go back and edit this application. I just want to show you, again, what happens with having lots of tabs. If you have a complex application, complex application, you have multiple forms, complex forms. A complex app requires more forms. Click Add, and I'll drag this into there. Okay, and I'll add another one just as an example of long names. Click add, and my really long name is gone. You notice that, maybe. And let's go ahead and drag the expense form in there. Looks like it worked. It's there. Okay, now let's access this application. Okay, there it is. See what's happening now? Um, since there's no tab wrapping, um, I'm starting, I'm gonna have to start scrolling over to see the edge. Now for my users, um, they're not gonna like that. So I have to keep my tab names really short, which would be difficult, unless I can get a rollover to describe that form so that when they roll over on it, they get a full description of what that particular form requires. Um, right now all it shows is names. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't give any more descriptions. There's no description of the form. So and the tabs do not wrap and that means my users will scroll. They're not gonna like that and they may not even recognize that they need to scroll. So uh, some some way to better handle complex applications with multiple forms would be required. That's the demonstration of layouts. Thank you very much for watching and happy computing.